so in this and one more thing is like every student should work on the script and share it to me for review let me quickly show you that as well uh, for every batch for every batch we we do have a google classroom and every student should share the script to me for review let me show the google classroom of the current batch or previous batches and uh, every student should share the script for review and we will share the script and i'll show you the review comments that we provide all right so just give me a moment so this is google classroom wherein you know like i'll i'll be giving assignments and uh, scripting assignments and tasks for uh, each of the student so okay so this is from load runner thing guys uh, so let me click on allow access okay and uh, yeah so this is the only step where you need to do some uh, modification or selection all right so once you get this micro focus authentication settings window unselect the checkbox and click continue that's it other rest of uh, rest of all the steps are clicking on next 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 and go ahead with the default options all right let me update my document You need to unselect this checkbox. Okay, let me take a screenshot of that as well. Click on finish. So once the installation is done, it will open user guide uh, as you see here in the whatever browser you have selected. Let me quickly update my document there. Yes. Oh, and this is the last time. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now you can see that. So once load runner installation is completed, you will get three icons on your desktop. These are the three icons: virtual user generator controller. Let me let me use spotlight. So virtual user generator is the first component. Controller is another component, and there will be another component that will be installed called analysis component. Let me show you that as well. Yeah, here it is. So here you can see that. Let me sort by date modified so that we can see all together, all these three together. Yeah. Now you can see here analysis controller and uh, VHM components and stuff. Uh, and uh, we have a shortcuts on the desktop, right? And once the installation is done, it will, uh, installation is done. So we will see this readme file. So, which will help you to understand what is new in this version, support matrix, installation guide, right? No, what are the known issues, deprecated features and technologies, software support, and uh, uh, link to software support. So, bookmark this page for future reference. Okay, LRP it shows here as LRP readme. LRP where LRP stands for Load Runner Professional. All right. So bookmark that page so that, you know, if you have some issues, you can come back to this page and see if there are any known issues. So bookmark this page, load in a professional uh, 2022 version user guide. And so that if you have any issues, you can come back to this known issues and see, check if that is already a known issue or else, you know, you can resolve it by some means. All right. And this is we use an installation guide and uh, yeah so a lot of information over here all right and let me once installation is done right so it starts script with scripting so let me start launch vugen first and this is the component and this is called as splash screen the the small window is called as a splash screen where it shows you the component name and version as you can see here version 2022 with this current version all right so let it come up and the first time when you get this right so it will uh, ask for this uh, windows defender firewall uh, uh, it will prompt to allow access if you want to allow access or not so this is one time job so click on that allow access thereafter it will not ask you and this is the gui of load runner 2022 here you can see if you want to see the version anytime 
you can go to help and check the version over here. All right. And let me launch uh, controller component as well, right? Controller and analysis component as well. If your installation is successful, you will get this new scenario window. Otherwise, if you are, if in case you are having 4K monitor, you will see this particular issue. Transaction monitor not available. Let me go to the slideshow mode. Yeah. Hope it is clear now. You will see. In case your monitor is 4K screen, you will get this issue. You can simply decrease the screen resolution to make the controller work. So I already I had already set my screen resolution, lowered my screen resolution, and that's why like I am able to see the launch the controller successfully. All right. So I'm closing the controller and let me quickly open the analysis component as well. Just to make sure that installation is successful. Yeah. So we can see that load and our load owner analysis component also is launched successfully. Yes. All right. So now let me you know uh, proceed with the uh, about my training methodology, which we you know we we'll stop in between. So most of the scripts of different companies, guys, please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on turn on all notifications so that you will get free demo sessions and you know any new batch updates. So and uh, you will get new batch updates only when you turn on all notifications. Know about the training and join enroll for the training and placement. So we are going to provide so scripting hands on mandatory uh, for every participant. As I said before, every participant should work on the script and share the script to me for review. We will download your scripts and review your scripts, right? So here you can see this is my July 2022 batch, September 2022 batch, and I have November 2022 batch. So for each batch, I create some folder like this. Here you can see November 2022 batch. For each batch, I create a folder like this for with the student name, and we download and review the scripts and share the review comments and share the review comments. Okay. So let me show you like you know, the review comments that we already shared for one of the previous batches so that you'll get an idea like you know how uh, how this works and in fact like we are getting like 80 to 90 percent placement without any proxy and without any backdoor so our my students are able to crack interviews on their own just because of this script reviews this is one of the this is one of the reason why you know students are able to crack interviews on their own. Even they are going for face to face interview and cracking interviews on their own. On their own. If you observe here, we have provided reviews for Web Tools, JPEG Store, Kona Card. By this time, they become good in very good in scripting. So this is how we provide reviews for each of the student. As you can see here, you can see the student name and what is the script that they shared and what are the review comments. Uh, as you can see here. And uh, those who got three and above will, you know, three and above will have, uh, those who got three rating will get, you know, I, uh, I'm using conditional formatting here. So those who have got three rating, uh, so their, you know, that particular cell will be highlighted in yellow color, four and five will be in green color. And this will help students to track their progress as well. So by, with each application, they will track their progress. Whether they are really making progress or, the, or there is a lot of scope for improvement. So this is how we share the review comments. Yes, as you can see here, this is random flight ticket booking strip. And these are the review comments that I gave for that particular student, as you can see here. All right. So now this is my Google Classroom. And these are my, so uh, here you can see these are the different assignments that I gave for November 2020 batch, which is the latest one. So I ask everyone to learn word basics and Excel basics by going through the training videos. Then this is the first script that I gave assignment uh, yesterday, right? And I also recommend everyone to learn Excel SQL basics by going through the WP schools. This is how we do assignment. And uh, if you see view assignment, this is the latest one, right? So this is how we track the progress. And one more thing, we give weekly test every week we will have a um, test that which is mandatory and every participant, every student should take that weekly assessment. And once you attempt that test, I will get a mail like this. Let me quickly show that, you know, 
you will see the result as well as I will get a mail as well. Yeah, here you can see uh, I'll get a mail like this so that you know I'll be able to track their progress and they will also uh, get a fair assessment of how they are performing every week. As you can see here, every assessment every week, weekly test consists of 15 questions to be answered in 15 minutes. All of, uh, right? So I'll provide more and more details you know, like, uh, once you contact. So we provide hands-on training on scripting with real-time examples and 15 plus scripts given in scripting dashs of various companies interviews. And coming to the protocols, I cover web protocol, web services protocol, and I also cover API testing with Flowtoner and JMeter. Uh, and once the training is completed, you can attempt a JMeter certification, JMeter free certification. It's a absolutely free certification. You need not pay any single rupee for that. So you'll get JMeter Pro certification. And also you can attempt, you know, like uh, uh, IHTQB certification for performance testing as well. And of course, this is a paid one. You need to pay some amount for this, uh, some, uh, some around uh, seven or 8,000 for if you want to attempt for IHTQB, uh, which is optional. However, you know, I always recommend to clear JMeter certification from uh, free certification at least uh, for every student. And 75% of my students are already certified in JMeter at least. So I, I'm going to cover, as I explained before, I'm going to cover five sample applications and two real-time applications for scripting and testizations. And we are applying sprint-based model to the training so that uh, students will understand, you know, like how the how they get, how how do they get the work in the in the project, right? And uh, that also helps them to face the interviews confidently, particularly those who want to claim experience. And uh, yeah, so. Apart from these, we do provide placement assistance. As part of this placement assistance, this is the important thing, guys. So, so as part of placement assistance, we do payroll processing with PF account number. We provide resume, proper resume, where you can expect at least four to five calls per day and three to four real-time projects training in classroom. This would be on weekends, only on weekends. And five mock interviews after the training. And first, so this is to get an assessment of the student after the training is completed. It helps them to assess themselves and to not miss any real entry opportunities. First mock entry, I'll take myself. Then I'll schedule two mock interviews with the help of my friends working in service-based companies and two mock interviews by work guys working for product-based companies. I do pay for them. I am paying for them, but that is free for you those who are taking placement assistance. And earn while you learn is something, some another unique feature in my training, uh, which I will explain you now once you confirm your joining. I cannot disclose all the trade secrets in the public video. All right, guys. So oh, that's all for today.